Friday night in Kingsport, and we are at the Netherland Inn for Bluegrass Night. And we're, we're here with David Oakes. Uh, David, tell us what goes on here with Bluegrass Night at the Netherland Inn. Well, this is something that has extended from Tom Keller's Bluegrass on Broad. And if it wasn't for Tom Keller, we probably wouldn't be here because he really sat down with Dave Light and myself and we kind of figured out which way to go and what we wanted to do. And so uh, I like to say this is Tom Keller number two, about what it amounts to, Bluegrass on Broad number two. But this is something that when Tom quits his Bluegrass on Broad, we pick up here. And when he starts, we will see. Uh, we're here at the Netherlands Inn. It's beautiful uh, and it's historic. There's a lot of, a lot of past history, a lot of, a lot of stories here about the Netherlands Inn. Can you tell us exactly uh, what you guys do here with the Netherlands Inn and, and give us a, an overview of the history? Well, the Netherland Inn is an all-volunteer organization, and we exist by memberships and by events, and such things as what's going on here, but of course this is a no-charge event whatsoever, and we ask for donations, and uh, they have been very, very good as far as uh, supplying us with, with the donations. But the thing, too, that it does expand the, the one of the strengths of the region being music, and then the other strength being history, so we're combining both of them here. Another one then was started by William King out of Saltville, Virginia. He wanted to have a place where he could have a dormitory type of concept where the people that would be living there would be building flatboats. And there will be a flatboat in front of the inn probably in the next three or four months, 14 feet wide, 60 feet long. Actual replica of a flatboat. At this day and time, you are now seated at the nation's only registered historic site that served as a river port and served as a stagecoach stop. The nation's only. <laughs> I've been playing all my life, just well, so a few years, starting a six-year-old. How about you? I started rock when I was about eight, I guess, playing guitar. Started on the banjo when I was about 13. Wesley, i got to figure they've probably been playing a little longer than you have, just to guess. How long have you been playing the guitar? Seven years. Seven years. So you started off with yeah. you. play play fine guitar? It was Don Reno, it used to be Don Reno and Red Smiley in the Tennessee Cut-Ups. I kind of, he was my idol. I followed him around since I was about 12 years old. That's the first time I seen him. You know, was in Kingsport at a, he played a grand opening show for Kroger's on Lean Garden Drive. And uh, that's what developed my interest in the banjo was when I seen him. Wesley, what got you interested in playing the guitar? Well, I don't know. I was driving down the one road one day and I just wanted to play the guitar. <laughs> you were driving. <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't drive. Lord help me, I wouldn't drive. turn into a, a full year type of a concept and maybe it will be an all year round event. Because in the barn, here, on the porch, and also on the flat boat. So um, there will be a lot of places. <laughs> Great. Appreciate y'all's help. Thank you.